you know, how to take this course, right? And, um, you know, I think, you know, there's a couple of ways. You know, one, if you just want to get the kind of splash of DevOps, just listen to my 15 hours of videos. And as I say, Bob Jarongo, you're done. Okay. And you'll get, you'll get a really good understanding. In fact, there might be parts where you say, I'm going to skip this. I don't think that's a good idea. It's like if you skip the culture part, then you're missing a really important point. So I don't think it's a good idea to piecemeal. Oh, I just want to go to the continuous delivery chapter. Um, that's a mistake. So I think if you're going to take this course minimally, you should basically watch all the videos. And there are tests and quizzes and all that good stuff. Um, if you actually want to get a deeper understanding of, you know, how this all fits together, I, I would suggest reading the Phoenix Project, the DevOps Handbook, and then take the 15 hours. Now, that's hard, right? Like, I'm asking you to read two books before you even get started. Um, but, you know, and some people suggested, you know, just read the Phoenix Project, take the course, and then do the DevOps Handbook. Um, that probably works, too. Um, but, but, but again, it, it's what you want to get out of this. Now, um, if you want a really deep, you know, if you want to kind of understand, like, what I've been learning for six years about this thing we call DevOps as it applies to things like Lean and Agile and uh, all this other stuff, then uh, it's about a 50 or 60 hours worth of work. I mean, there there are a lot of uh, case study videos that I talk about, but, you know, I talk about them, you know. It might make sense to go watch the video after I talk about it, right? Um, finally, if you want to do the whole fell swoop, it's probably closer to, you know, 120 hours college degree. Now, again, I'm not telling you how to do any of these. It just, the, the question you have to ask yourself is, how deep do you want to take this? Um, I can't tell you the amount of books I've read and this blogs and the videos and events and all that stuff I've gotten to get to this point where I could actually make, create this class. Is it worth it? For me, yes. For you, you know, you get to decide which one of those four options you want to do. Uh, and you can do, you know, you can do the 15 hours, come back and do, you know, other parts. Uh, but again, I don't want you, I, I've, I've watched on the discussion board a little bit of people getting kind of overwhelmed early. Um, and, and I just want to make sure that, you know, there's no absolute specific or very prescriptive way to take this course. It's really how much do you want to die? It's like going to a buffet. <laughs> how much do you want to take and eat?